Hey guys, and welcome to the East and West Conference. My name is Leanne Johnston, and I am the founder of Affiliate Insider. Um, if you're here today because you want to learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing, about how to grow your business, about how to understand how to launch a successful affiliate program, then you're in the right session. Unfortunately, today I wasn't able to join via the conference software, but hopefully you're going to enjoy this session and um, we can talk together in the conference after the session concludes. So so without any further ado, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Leanne Johnston. I'm the founder of Affiliate Insider. We're a digital and affiliate marketing agency, a media company, and also a training business. Um, I've got over two decades of affiliate marketing experience, and I've tried and tested everything that I'm going to teach you today. So you know that what I'm going to be talking about is going to be able to be implemented into your business, and um, hopefully it's going to help your business to grow. And if you want to find out a little bit more about me, you can go to our website which is www.affiliateinsider.com and you can find out a little bit more about what we do and how we help brands to uh, run successful affiliate programs so moving on um, we've worked with a lot of different gaming brands in the industry um, we support a lot of clients um, across both uh, iGaming and retail space um, and we've helped a lot of businesses to grow successful affiliate programs and what we're going to be covering today is why start an affiliate program Program for your business, what affiliate marketing is and, and where it's come to today, and then also why affiliate marketing matters for your business in terms of your marketing and acquisition strategy. So I'm going to share a couple of things that you need to know before you start your affiliate journey. If you're new to um, affiliate marketing and you want to launch a successful affiliate program, hopefully this session is going to help you to understand exactly how to do that. Um, one of the things that our team always says is that Affiliate Insider is on a mission to help make affiliate marketing as simple as possible. And hopefully today I'm going to be able to help you to learn a little bit more about this. So I wanted to start off with a crash course in affiliate history. So it's important to understand where we've come from so that we can understand where the affiliate industry is headed and how that's going to be able to help you grow your business um, as we move forward. So uh, the theory is that um, affiliate marketing started way back in 1989 um, with a man by the name of William J. Tobin, who founded um, a little remembered company called PC Flowers and Gifts. And by 1991, through affiliate marketing, he'd driven more than $6 million in sales. And then by 1998, he apparently had an affiliate program that had 3,000 affiliate marketing partners. Now on the right of the screen, you'll see um, a summary of what is known as the affiliate marketing landscape or the ecosystem that we currently work in. Now, in iGaming, it's a little bit more simple. Um, you know, we don't have so much cashback loyalty, but um, you can see that there's quite a lot of different uh, publishers, SaaS company providers, um, tools. Um, we're even moving into the influencer network stuff as well. Um, so it's a really complex model. And what I'm going to try and do is help you to make that quite simple today. The fact of the matter is, is that um, some people think Amazon launched affiliate marketing in 1996. Um, and then of course, Commission Junction, which is a very well known global affiliate network and tracking solution, which was followed in 1998. So Roughly affiliate marketing is quite new as a digital medium um, and, a, and an acquisition channel, but also it's helped to build multi-billion dollar companies. And today I'm gonna to share some of the strategies that we help our clients to deliver and hopefully will help your businesses to grow too. So why do affiliates really matter? Um, they help you with your acquisition and your retention. They can help you increase brand reach, and they're also paid on performance, which is probably one of the most important things um, about affiliate marketing. Um, and they also help you reduce your marketing costs in other channels. So because the varied range of affiliate traffic that you can get from an SEO affiliate to a pay-per-click affiliate to an app affiliate to a video or streaming affiliate or even an influencer now using social media channels, the type of traffic that they can send to your website is very, very varied. And if you use affiliates based on a performance model where you pay them after a customer deposits and registers or purchases at your site, then you're actually diversifying your marketing budget because you can spend more in paid or direct media channels and use your affiliates to complement those other channels. They also know how to find and steer traffic a lot better than you can because affiliates become absolute experts in the channel that they're focused in to drive new customers. And what that means is that they're really adept at bringing you traffic from every stage of the buyer 
journey. So the awareness stage, the consideration stage, and the decision stage. And as an example, I'll give you um, a couple of affiliate types so you can understand what that means. So perhaps an awareness stage affiliate would be somebody who does um, SEO and ranks really highly for um, you know, keywords that your business would want to be seen at. So for example, casino, uh, bonuses. That could be a really good awareness stage affiliate. Um, a consideration stage affiliate would be somebody who maybe has a review site. Um, so, you know, customers already decided that they want to go and play casino slots, but they don't really know where to play yet. So they might be looking at um, websites that have um, you know, reviews on them. And then the decision stage is obviously affiliates um, that can help, you know, promote certain offers. So you might want to go to, um, you know, Ask Gamblers, for example, because they have, uh, you know, a lot of offers um, registered on their website. So the customer can actually decide exactly where they want to stay. So it's important that you have a really good mix of affiliates in your affiliate program too, because you want to be hitting those customers at the different buyer journey stages that they're in when they come to see more about casinos, for example. So a lot of people think that if they build a web, build an affiliate program, that everybody's going to come to it and that it's quite easy to, to launch an affiliate program. But I'm going to talk to you about why it's not so easy, because that model of build it and they'll come just simply doesn't exist. An affiliate program, like any other marketing channel, needs to have a marketing plan and a strategy behind it that will help it to build revenue over time. And today, that's what I'm going to be talking to you about in this session. So affiliate marketing has become complex. You've seen how we went from a simple referral friends uh, scheme into a really complex ecosystem on that first slide. And the one thing that I do want to say before we go any, any further is that there really are no shortcuts to building a, su a successful affiliate program. In order to do that, you need to have a strategy, you need to have a plan, and you need to be buying into the fact that this is a long-term process. It doesn't happen overnight. So I'm going to talk about the three things in this channel, in this um, session today that can help you make the right start. So here are my three top tips to launch a successful affiliate program if you're going to, going to be starting out and looking to work with partners to help promote your brands across the global landscape. The first thing is have a proper launch plan. So just like you would have a proper launch plan for your customers to get your customers to your website, I want you to think about having a proper launch plan for your affiliate program too. You need to know who you are and you need to know who you need. It is not always possible to work with every single affiliate based on the budget or the resourcing that you have internally in your marketing teams. So have you ever done a SWOT analysis of um, you know, who your affiliates are and what it is that you can give to them? And what, I, what do I mean by SWOT? It's a really simple process that you can um, use to uh, figure out what your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are. And you need to do that from an affiliate's perspective as well. You need to be looking at how do you offer um, opportunities for affiliates to earn more money compared to some of your competitors. What are the threats that you face in your product, in your team, in your budget? What are some of the weaknesses that you have in your product, in your team, in your budget? And how do you overcome these things and convince affiliates to work with you? Once you've worked out what your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are, you can start to build your marketing plan to actually get your program launched successfully and engaging the right types of affiliates. So understanding who your customer avatar is, understanding what types of traffic you need, whether it's online, desktop, mobile, um, you know, people that are interested in crypto, what are the USPs that actually make up your um, program and make up the benefits that affiliates are going to want to um, get from working with you? Because if you're crystal clear on what those messaging um, and USPs are, it's going to make it very easy for you to find the right affiliates and to recruit them into your program to help you get started. The second thing that I want to say is build your affiliate house with bricks. So build your affiliate program with the end game in mind, a little bit like Lego. If you've got children, hopefully you, um, you know, play Lego with them or, or building blocks with them. But it's the same thing with your affiliate program. Make sure that you have the right technology solutions in place. Make sure that you are finding um, you know, the right uh, systems and processes that you can build your affiliate program on and around. Um, you know, If you need to go into multiple markets, make sure that you have reporting that gives you the right data and analysis. 
make sure that you've got the right payment methods in place to pay your affiliates efficiently and make sure that you have um, you know all the integrations that you require in the technology in order to facilitate the type of traffic that you need to get so it's very important that when you're choosing your technology that you find the right tech that helps you to scale because if you don't find the right tech you're going to get stuck and you're going to have to do program migrations and that can be quite expensive and costly because of the amount of data that an affiliate program gathers over time the other thing that you're going to want to do is manage your budgets efficiently so just like you would for your marketing function you're going to want to make sure that your budget is being spent on the best tech that you can afford whilst also providing some great promotions for your affiliates to help them get started and to build that relationship of trust. You need to mark your, your program like you do your brand. So like you would have a marketing strategy for your players and your customers, you need to have a marketing strategy that's gonna help you to um, you know, bring affiliates on board and actually engage affiliates as well. And the last thing that I wanted to say is at the moment with the lack of uh, physical events that we're going to where relationship building is incredibly important for affiliates, you need to be investing in upskilling yourself and your team on the art of social selling. And what do I mean by social selling? That's really the outreach partner discovery part and the recruitment of new affiliates into your program and how you do that through various different social channels. The second thing that I think that you need to be doing if you want to launch a successful affiliate program right now is to invest in building brand affinity around your program. So what do I mean about brand affinity? Well, if you think about Red Bull and you think about Coca-Cola, you're definitely going to have a preference as to which um, you prefer. Like, is it Coca-Cola? Is it Pepsi? Is it Coke Max? Is it Coke Light? And is it Red Bull or is it some other kind of energy drink? I know here in the UK, we've got another energy drink called Monster. But brand affinity really describes the feeling that people feel around a particular brand or service or offering that shares common values with them. It's not about loyalty and it's not about promote promotions. It's about how you make somebody feel when they're working with you. So that really boils down to your affiliate team. It boils down to the messaging that you put out into the marketplace for affiliates to come and find your program and what values you have around your affiliate program in terms of working with new partners. So, you know, fast payments, you know, accurate, transparent reporting. These types of things are very, very important to affiliate partnerships because they're running their businesses on the information that you provide to them. So having a clear, transparent message around what your core program brand values are is incredibly important to help affiliates know you, understand you, and come to work with you. So what we found over COVID as well, there's a couple of um, different articles and things that have been written around how the affiliate industry continued to grow by almost 10%, even though other digital channels cut spend or even stopped spending during um, you know, this really crazy time. And one of the things that they found is that brands that invested in building affinity with their affiliates were elevating their emotional and rational behavioral decisions um, directly in their favor. So, And this was really in the retail space. Um, some of the affiliates or affiliate programs, they ended up doing B2B partnerships in order to keep their affiliates afloat. So just thinking about how do you build that brand affinity around your affiliate program in order to attract affiliates to you is an incredibly important thing to be thinking about right now, especially if you're going to be launching a program in a highly competitive environment. So just think about who you are as an affiliate program, what you're going to be offering and how you want affiliates to actually know you and see you in the marketplace. The other thing about brand affinity is, um, and this was a really great quote that I found from Ben Arndt from Dunk Basketball, who did a, a big research piece around brand affinity and how that impacted sales. And what he was saying is that brand affinity is an excellent foundation for building a solid client base. And just like a client base, your affiliates are also your clients. And the, the key thing about building affinity around your affiliate program brand is that apart from you know, taking a lot of effort in your team, it doesn't actually take a lot of budget. So this is a really good thing that smaller brands can be looking at at the moment in order to help build their program at the start of their launch. Remember that build it and they'll come slide that I showed you a little bit earlier. You need to be going the extra mile to actually make sure that affiliates understand who you are as a business and also entice them to come and work with you. So your brand versus your program. While your brand speaks to your customers, your program speaks to your affiliates. And if you're a 
affiliates are speaking to you, your customers will come and deposit. So make sure that your program is being marketed consistently. And what does that mean? It means that you are being seen at virtual events, that you are writing lots of great content, that you're sharing information with affiliates about what the digital trends are, that you're emailing your affiliates consistently to tell them about what's changing in your business, what's changing in your customer segments. The more information you give affiliates, the easier it is for them to actually promote your um, business above your competitors. Invest in your leadership. You know, build brand familiarity, get your team out there into the marketplace, get them onto social media, get them sharing in communities and get them onto forums, start having conversations, um, you know, posting on social media isn't a push notification, it's more about starting a conversation, liking what somebody else is saying, commenting on what somebody else is saying, because that all gains trust in your affiliate program brand. The second thing is create program loyalty. So use your affiliates that you're already partnering with if you if you have a program that's live to actually bring more affiliates to you. Enter those accreditation programs and get your program recognized in, in a PR sense. Actively enter awards and get affiliates seeing and hearing why you are good at what you do and why they should be working with you. And then build your brand affinity by using your affiliate team as social ambassadors. Now remember I spoke a little bit about social selling. It's incredibly important that your affiliate team knows how to utilize their personal social media channels to engage more partners on behalf of your program. So giving them that training and giving them that understanding of how to build really great engaging content, because at this point, everybody is a publisher and you should be utilizing that in your brand, especially if your budgets are limited. And the last key point that I want to leave you with today as we wrap up the session is to set very clear goals. So if you don't really know who you are, your affiliates won't really know what they're selling. And there's four, there's, if you're in marketing, you would have heard of something called the four P's, which traditionally talks about your product, your price, your place, and your promotion. You need to know this and your affiliates need to know it too. So when they join your affiliate program, you need to make sure that there's a great onboarding process for them to get to know your business, to get to understand what it is that you do and how you do it and why they need to promoting you in a certain way. The other four P's is what I call the pain problem, possibility and potential. If you're marketing your affiliate program effectively, you will be able to answer all of those four points. You will be able to explain to affiliates how you can overcome their pain points in their business. You'll be able to pro provide solutions to the problems that they currently face. You'll be able to engage them with the possibility of how much earning they'll be able to make with you. And you'll be able to show them the potential of why they should be working with you. Essentially, the three questions that you need to be focusing on when you join an affiliate program is why you, why me, why now? And if you can answer those three simple questions when you're dealing with affiliates, you'll be able to onboard them very easily into your program and get them actively sending you new customers as well. So in summary, if you want to launch a successful affiliate program, it's really not very difficult. It does take a lot of time to see ROI. So you need to be in, in it with a long game plan. You need to have a marketing strategy that's going to sit behind it and actually actively promote it. And you need to be constantly helping your affiliates to understand your product USP. Even if you can't afford the very best technology in the system, get the technology that you can afford that allows you to scale. So look at your building blocks, look at your foundation that you're building your affiliate brick house on and make sure that it's the best that you can possibly afford. Um, market your affiliate program consistency and build that brand affinity because you need to be patient. It takes time to grow a successful affiliate program and it takes time to build relationships of trust. The other thing is, I love Steve Jobs, you know, he was he was really, really clever. And he said, if you look closely, most overnight successes take a long time. And that's very true of an affiliate program. You know, I've spent years building multi million dollar programs, and it took years and years and years to build into those types of revenue models. So don't think that just because you launch a program and you get the technology stack set up in your business that your affiliate program is going to be a success. It needs to have a marketing strategy behind it as well. And you need to have an actionable marketing plan with clear goals of what you want to achieve, probably on a 90 day cycle, which would be quite manageable for your affiliate team. I hope that you found some of this helpful. Here's a quick reminder of what we do at Affiliate Insider. In short, we help with, uh, brands 
grow their affiliate programs and we help people make affiliate marketing simple. We also have a great training course for affiliate program managers. So if you have uh, team members in your marketing team that you want to get um, trained up and upskilled, come and talk to us because we've got a great 12 week coaching program called AMP, which is all about improving performance marketing. It's been absolutely great to present with you today. I hope that I'm going to be able to connect with you live um, on the conference channel now so we can do a little bit of Q&A. And if we don't get to connect, please do get in touch with me. My email address is up on your screen. It's been absolute pleasure for me to share some of the three things that I think can help small businesses launch effective affiliate programs today. And it's been a pleasure to present to you. Thank you very much for having me.